Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Mental Game for Kings. I just wanted to hop on here today and make a special video for you guys quickly on the law of assumption and why it's paramount for you guys to understand this if you want to have success with your manifestations using the law of assumption, all right? If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, great to have you. If you're tuning in again, you already know how we get down. So, I believe the most important thing to have success with the law of assumption is understanding this and it's understanding that you want to be thinking from you already having your desire right there's a there's a massive difference between thinking of your desire and thinking that it's already yours right now you, you may be saying well how the fuck do i do this what, how, what do i what do i need to do I, I, I don't know how to do that, right? Well, again, this is where the power of your imagination comes in and how you can use it as a very powerful tool to essentially occupy that state of being where you have um, what it is you desire, right? Now, if I ask all of you to go into your mind's eye or rather go into your imagination and see yourself holding an apple, right? I'm going to assume that most of you can do this. And then I ask you, well, in your mind's eye, with your imaginary hand, take a bite of that apple and see if you can savor it, right? And a lot of you will have success with doing that. Now, I want you to do the same thing with the things you desire. I want you to mentally picture yourself being the person that already has these things, seeing yourself already in that light, moving your day-to-day -day activities as someone that already has what it is they desire, right? Because the key to manifestation is understanding that you don't get necessarily what you want, but you get what you are, and you get more and more and more of it, right? That's why a lot of people talk about the rich get richer and the poor will continue to be poor, right? Right? Now, I completely understand the difficulty in doing this because a lot of us have these conscious beliefs already and it can be very hard to sort of, in our mind, believe, or oh, I have this already or, or see themselves holding that and then all of a sudden you go back to thinking, well, I don't have it again. Where is it? Right? So I, I completely understand the difficulty in this. This is where the power of your subconscious mind comes in and this is where we, we essentially reprogram it, Okay. There are a couple times where the subconscious mind is more impregnable or open to impression. Now, these times are after waking up in the morning and prior to going to sleep. But mo most importantly, it, it's that state between we're drifting between being asleep and between, you know, that, that sort of pocket where you're a little bit drowsy, right? Um, when you've had that, like you've had a large meal and you sort of feel sleepy. Well, th these times when, when your brain is a little bit more, your conscious mind is a bit more relaxed. This is a phenomenal time to feed your mind new ideas because during these times, your subconscious mind is more impressionable to new ideas. And it's during these times that you can feed yourself a new idea, Right? through your imagination and if successfully impregnated by your subconscious mind you, you, you then create this belief and uh, we already know as you believe it's done onto you right so for those of you that are struggling to sort of just assume a new state or to sort of picture yourself having or being something because you have these really strong beliefs about what you're trying to assume, there's so much resistance. What I recommend is first start off by almost trying to reprogram your subconscious by in these pockets, right? Just after you've woken up, imagine things that you want to experience. Not as something separate. Again, it comes back to what I was talking about before. Think from it, right? So during these pockets of time, think from the position where you already have what you desire again in the morning in the evening um 
And even during the middle of the day, if you've had your lunch and you feel that, you know, that, that afternoon sort of sleep that you want to have because you've had your lunch and you sort of feel a little bit more tired, find a chair whilst in that sort of drowsy state and then hear, imagine, speak lovingly to yourself, right? And work with your mind. Feed yourself new ideas. Assume new states during these little pockets of time. Okay? Because I completely understand the difficulty in just going, well, I have this now. And then everything is inside of you is telling me, well, no, I don't. First start by let's, let, attacking the subconscious in these pockets of time where it's, it's, it's more susceptible to impression. All right? And during these times, you can affirm new things to yourself and think from the position of already having because you're going to have less chatter with your conscious mind during these states, right? But that's the key. Think from the position where you already have that which you desire, right? Don't think of it because thinking of it implies separation. Thinking from it implies it's already yours yeah now i'm sure you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions guys chuck them in the comments if you want more help as well i'm going to leave in the description uh, my email you can contact me there for a one-on-one -on -one talk um i'm also going to put in the description my uh, my two audiobooks i'm going to have the igniting your light one which is the the newer one beyond boundaries um, and I'm going to have the link to the Patreon there as well, um, where I include more content and um, you have access to more things there as well. Um, what else was I going to say? But yeah, guys, don't, don't overthink this too much. It's the difference between literally you're watching something on TV and you placing yourself in your mind inside the show that you're watching inside the movie that you're watching right that's the difference between failure and success is the embodiment right you can think of the law of assumption as, as, as basically being the law of being what are you being in your day to day right but we also have to remember that our subconscious is responsible for a lot of the things that are happening in our life so if we're trying to if we're telling ourselves over and over again i am this i am that i am this but subconsciously you're feeling different you have a lot of resistance go into yourself quiet the outer senses quiet your mind prior to sleep after you've woken up in these states where your conscious mind is less loud feed yourself new ideas here imagine new things here right because I completely understand the difficulty when your conscious mind is, 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 is fighting with you with these new thoughts or new beliefs, right? Mm. I'm sure you found this video helpful and um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe um, and press that bell notification, guys, if you want to make sure not to miss any more of uh, these videos and posts and um, yeah, looking forward to hearing you guys and um. I'll see you guys in the next one, yeah? Peace, power, prosperity. And you already know, love always. It's been your boy.